die, Captain. Captain Bob, I am dead. Blah. That's all you'll be writing from now on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I get it. I've been sitting here for the past half hour contemplating, and I get it. I get it. You know what? I'm angry, but... We can talk about that later. I get it. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Oh, so you want to fight me here and now, huh? Triumph, Malik? You seem to forget that I'm still alive. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Oh, shall we? Master versus apprentice as it was meant to be. Oh, so you're still acknowledging that I am your master. Well then. This isn't going to do anything, but I just want to see if it'll damage him. Mm, did almost nothing. Oh no, what's he doing? You know what I should do? It's going to be reflex plus three. I'll keep that. What does this do? Will plus three. That's pretty cool, but... Never mind, I thought I had an immunity to, uh, to mind affecting. There it is. So, reflex plus three. I'm gonna keep my constitution. You know what, let's just see. Let's just see if I can withstand his force attacks. And take him on. Let's go. Oh, no! Come on. You missed? Are you an idiot? There you go. Stop! Man, that tickles. Stop tickling me, Malik. Ouch. This is why I have all my med packs. Use it. Go. Oh, he just damaged exactly what I healed. No, oh, no. Use an advanced one. Ow, ow, ow. What the? Hey, you can't just do that in a cutscene. Get back here. Wait. Oops. Now get back here! Oh, you little dick. You little penis. You are such a little penis, it's hilarious. You guys, just hang tight. I'll be back, or maybe I won't. We'll see. Did you go in here? Ugh! He was winning. Why did he run away? <laughs> like one more like power hit and he would have had me. Yeah, I'm not done with you. Yeah, I'm not done with you. Let's see how much how flurry works. I know it lowers my defense, but Oh, did I Am I saving against you? That sucks, huh? Oh no! 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 Okay, 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 okay! I get it. I get it. I get it. Yep. Of course that last force choke got me. Of course it did. And then I'm choking for all eternity. That would actually suck. 
hope not for all eternity. Okay, can we try this again? Oh, no, I have to... I have to do that whole damn thing again now, don't I? I have to go through the cutscene, and I have to... Oh my god, this game sucks for autosaves. It is honestly like the worst game I have ever seen for autosaving. It is terrible. And, oh yeah, of course. Let's just unequip all my... yeah. Okay, and you. And you. There. Yeah, you stupid little vibro blade can't do anything against me. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Freaking seriously. Get out of my way. I'm gonna pick up these remains. I'm gonna freaking get there again. I'm gonna go through everything all over again. Alright, this is boring. I'm gonna resume when I get there. All right, let's try this again. Um, I saved right before this encounter, so this time, no more problems. Uh, I also equipped Karth with super heavy armor, not that it matters. I'm going to use a battle stim. Because I have five of them. And... A Chani battle stim, I guess. Oh, it didn't do anything. Crap. Uh... Hyper battles? That won't do anything though. Strength. Go. Stamina. Oh. Here he comes. Uh, alacrity. Hyperness. There we go. Let's go. Oh, my shield's out. There we go. Now kill him. Oh, it's already out again. Yeah, just kill him. Ah. Again. Oh my god. Whew. Huh. That time was much closer, though. Yeah, you run away. I was gonna kick your ass. Oh, I'm almost dead. He almost killed me, actually. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this again. I'm gonna save it again, though, this time, because... Or all my stems are already worn off. My gods. So do I actually kill Malik here? Because I thought he would be, like, the final boss. Like, I still have to go to Korriban, right? And, like, get the Star Forge and all that stuff. I don't know, man. Let's try the other shield. Maybe it'll do better. Whoa, that looks cool. Makes me look buff, like a Krogan. Um... What else? What else? What else? Hyper battle stim? Yeah. Do it. Strength. Stamina. Alacrity. Uh. Okay, now save it. There we go. Let's do it. 
flurry his ass downtown. Yeah. Oh wow. That's how good flurry is. This isn't over, Malak. Oh damn. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. Except um, but even except with you, together, apparently. Cannot stand against my power. Then how come you keep running For away? The Jedi! Oh damn. I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Star Forge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Oh, you gave up fast. We have to get Bastila. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! No. Uh, man. I wanted to. Damn it, Basila! You suck. You freaking suck. Wait. Isn't that the way I came? Where am I supposed to go right now? I am s What? So... We were on the right side, weren't we? We have to... Dang it! This way, Karth, I know exactly what I'm doing. To a T. See? Uh huh? Why did I tell ya? Now we'll sneak up and flank them. Dang! Just leads to that door. Fine. We'll freaking go. Get happy now, Karth. You freaking gave up. That's why we're doing this right now. The game won't even let me try and save her anymore. Because of you. Alright, alright, let's do this. Hey. Hey. Go. It looks like we got a lot farther away from the ship than this. Go buy a thing. Whatevs. Stupid Basila. Freaking you sacrifice yourself. I should sacrifice myself. Stop. Who else? Oh, someone over here. Where? There. Ah, and you. I gotcha. You can't escape my sights now that you're the only one alive. Oh, shut it. to Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's he would not have Malak, killed us. Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. They Aren't they already always victorious? We have to go back. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said? Or should I? I'm not Darth Revan, I'm Holiday Respawn. I'll tell them. I'm... I'm 
Darth Revan. Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, but that it's thing no on joke. your face is. <laughs> the council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind, programming in a new identity. Saul Karras told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... This is big! So that's what you, Saul told him. Do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Mmm... A few things, that's it. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. Whoa, look at that How armor. Know more memories won't come flooding back. Looks How like we know Revan musculature. won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Are you an idiot? <laughs> You're an idiot, aren't you? Blame the Jedi Council for this, not me. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. Aww. Thanks, Big Z. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. Yeah, Karth, so if you turn you against me, you you're gonna have to fight How Big Z. say that mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. It, uh, it all makes sense now, Revan. I've watched you. I've seen your cruelty. I've seen your... your dark side. <laughs> now this. I don't know if I can trust you. Can any of us? Ooh. What do you have to say, HK? Commentary. <laughs> I am experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating <gasps> my deleted memory core. Yes. I believe I have a, a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Your homing system? What's that? Observation. My homing system oh, is a awesome. function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon <gasps> returning to my original Oh, that's master. awesome! You mean Revan? Affirmation. Correct, Master. Sith protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. Oh, that's so I have cool! Returned and my full functionality is now under your personal command. Oh, that's awesome. It's a pleasure to see you that is again. so cool. Oh man, that's awesome. That makes a lot of sense, actually. It does. Like, not having his memory core for an assassination mission is extremely intelligent. Having a system that brings it back upon return is even more intelligent. That's insane. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. Yeah, At exactly. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. That's the exactly point. what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's the Force. Alright. Well. What do you think, Candrus? You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. That's an odd code of honor, but thank you. I love it when people call me Revan. It makes me feel so powerful. What about you, Jolie? What about me? I already knew who you were, so it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off than you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. What if what I have to do is evil? What about you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, Karth, what about you? Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. Have any other choice, do I? You know what?
what, Karth? You don't have a freaking choice. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Basila, so let's do it before it's too late. Korriban now. You might notice I have some new threads. <laughs> That's right. I went to the shop first. What are you gonna do about it? I bought this medium exoskeleton armor and upgraded it, so now I have unbelievably more defense and strength and constitution. I also bought Zalbar a new blade, a Baraguin assault blade, which I also upgraded, and I gave freaking HK a new gun, the Mandalorian Assault Rifle, which was better than Chundar, or it does slightly less maximum damage than Chundar's Bowcaster, which it was doing before, or which he was using before, um, but it has a 25% chance to hit, I mean stun <laughs> upon hit, so that's insane, so, yeah, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here though. Because I can't tell how long it's been. I've done a lot of stuff between the cutscenes and the shopping, and I don't know how long it's been. So I'm going to end it here. In the next episode, I'll talk to Karth. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I love you all.